Hey guys, so I am back with another video and today I am doing a massive natural hair product haul. But before we hop into the video, make sure you guys are subscribed and turn your notifications on so you know whenever I upload. If you are new here and you like natural hair, beauty, relationship talk, life talk, then definitely consider subscribing to my channel. I would really appreciate it. And yeah, let's hop into this video because it's going to be really long and it's a lot of stuff. Okay, honey? Okay, so I'm gonna try and hop through this. I'm not gonna get into too much detail about the products. I'm literally just going to be showing you guys for the most part, if I think of something extra special to say about the product, I will. Some of these products are like repurchases or like, you know, like stock or, but the majority of it is new and things that I have not used before ever, as far as like the actual product, maybe not the brand, but the product okay so i'm gonna try and hop in i have a ton of stuff like my entire like this whole area right here is covered with product and i'm gonna try and move through this kind of like a little conveyor belt here <laughs> so that i can get through this very very quickly okay so the first um set of products that i'm going to start with are some products that um are from unicurl and i did a poll on the community page like a while ago if, if i should try out unicurl or another brand and a lot of you guys picked unicurl actually it was kind of like 50 50 but at the time when i did that poll unicurl actually ended up having a sale so i went with them you know save my coin a little bit so i'm i picked up everything from unicurl i think this was around the holidays honestly um so i picked up everything from their site that they have i have every single thing I have not used any of the products actually um, so I'm just gonna show you guys I'm gonna go through really quickly this is the conditioning shampoo um, from Unicurl uh, I have the deep conditioner the two it says two-in-one deep conditioner which it just says detangler and strengthener so two-in-one deep conditioner this is an eight ounce jar um, then I have the moisturizing leave-in spray i usually do not like handles like this i hate handles like this to be honest with you because my hands be so slippery when i'm doing my hair and like this just be slipping all over the place it's a couple bottles that i have that i purchased that are like that i just just give me i, I get why they do it because it's probably convenient but i don't like it but it's a kind of a thin thinner spray so we'll see how that goes um as far as like I already know I'm not gonna like the bottle, but that's you know neither here nor there and irrelevant to what's inside the bottle. Okay, then I have the Moisture Seal hair oil, and then y'all know I love a good hair oil. I love hair oils in general, so love that. Um, or you know not love it because I ain't try it, but you know I can't wait to try it. I should say. Next is the Unicurl Curl Moisture Fantasy moisturizing conditioner it's supposed to be like a five minute deep conditioner type of thing um so i'm excited actually to try it and see how it works you know next is the dragon fruit elongating twist cream this is actually a pretty nice jar i think it's 12 ounces yeah 12 ounce jar of this the twisting cream excited about that then they have the curl fantasy styling gel um, this is kind of a pretty new product from them. I haven't done a wash and go in a minute, so I can't wait. I have a few gels in here that I can't wait to try in this haul. And then I have, this is probably one of their best sellers. Like this was the thing that everyone was talking about. It's the 4-in-1 Styler Leave-In. I think it's Leave-In Curl Cream, Detangler, and Moisturizer. So it's kind of like supposed to take place of that L and C of the lock method or the LCO method. Um, depending on which one you do but it's supposed to be a combination where you just don't you this is just all in one so I'm curious about that I don't know if I would use it that way but I will definitely try it out but this is probably one of their most popular products honestly okay 
next we are moving on to some things that I picked up while I was in St. Croix. It's from a natural hair care brand that is based and shipped from there. Um, the products are pretty pricey. I'm not even going to lie. Not like extremely pricey because I don't know. I feel like pricey is relative to whoever you're talking to. When it comes to me hair care, there is no price on my hair care. If I can find a coupon, I will use it. But for the most part, I don't really care how much hair products cost. If I like it or I'm going to try it, I'm going to pay it. So that's just that. But I will say um, just a little tip or just like uh, something to take note of when you are um, thinking of price and where things are shipped and made and things like that. These specific body products are made in St. Croix and a lot of the ingredients are obviously things that they can find there, you know, like, you know, that's readily available and then a lot of the stuff are not readily available. So getting certain things, certain oils, certain, certain types of things there is expensive so a lot of times their stuff is a little bit more expensive um, which I don't mind and if you understand the culture then you understand why it's so high um, not saying that you know there are some things that aren't easily accessible there even like packaging getting packaging there it's not like they have you know a Amazon store or you know what I mean like everything's Everything's going to be coming from the states there and it's very expensive so stuff to keep in mind when you're ordering from stuff like from different countries or not even you know different territories even so a lot of the things they need to get to them it is expensive so some of their stuff is going to be a little bit priced more than others I think might have one of the most expensive things I got was the deep conditioner so I'll start with that because it's in my hand um, this brand is called cultured naturals um, I picked this up while I was just there and um, like around Easter I was there um, for my daughter's birthday so this is the nourishing and repair hair mask um, big jar 16 ounces so I mean I, th I think I got I don't remember exactly how much it was but I will have everything linked I will have everything that I mentioned in this video linked down below and categorized so that you guys if you want to look for a specific product they do ship to the US I just wanted to let you guys know or I mean they are US territory but you know what I mean they do ship over here okay next is the coconut aloe hair gel from them as well um, this is actually a pretty thin gel. I'm looking in the bottle, so I'm curious to see how this will work. A lot of their products say that it has sea moss in it, which I've never tried sea moss on my hair. So I'm pretty curious to see what that fat is about. Next is the, the Reviving Shampoo. Again, 8 ounce jar. This is a very clear shampoo. I'm definitely curious. I haven't used a shampoo that's like clear like this in a very long time, besides like the Wash Day Delight thing. But... I haven't used like a I don't know I don't know what it is I haven't used a clear shampoo in a while next I picked up the quench leave-in conditioner from them as well same kind of bottle as the other one from um, Unicurl and then I picked up some Moringa oil this is a two ounce jar or bottle of Moringa oil it's for your hair face and body I know I'm pretty much only going to use it in my hair um, so yeah, that's what I picked up from that line. Moving on, I picked up some things from Carol's Daughter. I know some people are like hitting it and missing it with Carol's Daughter, um, but there were some new things that came out that I wanted to try and I still do like a lot of their stuff. So I picked it up. I did pick me up another bottle of the Wash Day Delight. This is about my third bottle of this stuff, guys. Like. Just because y'all see me use something once or twice on my channel, don't think that I'm not using it off channel. Like I don't sit down and do my hair every single time I do my in film, every time I do my hair. So I use this stuff like this. This is my jam. I like this stuff. The wash data light like, like that. They actually came out with another, I guess, like version of it. This is the one with rose water. So I pick that up as well. So I kind of have a bottle that's already open. And then this is my backup. And they were having a big sale, so I picked it up. Then they came out with these two, like, cream to jelly to cream conditioners, which um, I've heard, like, hit or misses about these. I saw some pretty decent videos about it. I feel like it's probably more of a detangler, um, not more of an actual conditioner. Um, so I feel like this is something you can probably use to detangle, rinse out, and then actually use a deep conditioner. So that's what I'm thinking it is. 
or use this after you deep condition because it doesn't really the instructions don't even go like really into like leave on for 10 minutes or anything. anyway the instructions don't say leave on for like 10 minutes or anything like that i literally think it's for detangling purposes so i picked up you know one from each of the you know the rosewater one and then like the original wash day delight one so can't wait to try these next i picked up um the cocoa cream water cocoa mist from carol's daughter as well um i saw this they came out with another product that i'm going to get to in a second in this cocoa cream line i love this line like this cocoa cream line i love this um one of my free like from one of their like newer kind of lines that's actually one of my favorite lines from like the newer stuff then I picked up the Curl Shaping Cream Gel from the Cocoa Cream line. I'm actually excited to try these. I've actually been liking cream gels. I think I used one from Afro Sheen. Um, I used one from African Pride and I really got into it when I used the African Pride one. I just didn't care for the smell of the African Pride one, but I actually liked how my hair turned out. I feel like it gives me like a bigger, more voluminous type of wash and go. So I'm curious to see what this does, especially since the cocoa cream line is kind of very moisture driven. So next I picked up the Mar Marguerite's Magic Restorative Hair Dress or hair cream. Um, I haven't used this. This has been out for years. Like this is like an OG product from Carol's Daughter, but um, I actually never tried it and I, it was, I forgot how much it was on sale, but I decided to pick it up to give it a try because I've, this is like an OG product that a lot of people really actually liked so I picked that up to add then I picked up some things from one of like my this is like my OG line but this is actually a new product that at least it's new to me or they might have redid the one that they had because I feel like they had a pudding before but this is from their hair collection the curl and enhancing styling pudding um so I'm curious to try this I'm pretty sure they had a pudding before but this one looks thicker than that one, so they may have like redid it. So then next, lastly from Carol's Daughter, I picked up me another bottle of my OG leave-in conditioner. Like, if you guys been following me since I had a TWA, like since when I first cut my hair till now, um, I used to use not used to. I this is this was my jam. This hair milk from cow's daughter they i remember when it first first came out they had like this one and then they had a light one but this one this is just og this is babe i know you guys probably have not seen this on my channel in a while actually you might have i think i did a wash and go last year um using like the hair milk line but this hair like like i tell you guys just because you do not see me use something on my channel does not mean i use it on a regular basis i usually only show you things here on my channel that's like new and stuff like that but this is og babe like this is probably my favorite leave-in conditioner of all time top five literally top five leave-in conditioners for me i know a lot of people don't be messing with carol's door no more i mean that ain't my business i'm only talking about my hair i love it still love it i've loved it from the beginning and i still love this stuff so i get bottles of this like i have at least i have one that's already open and probably about two more of, the, of this already shelved so I get this every time I see it especially when I'm at Marshall's they usually have a few of these like on like on clearance or like just in the store I'll pick it up at least one bottle one to two bottles every time I'm out especially if I see it in Marshall's so I love this stuff hands down one of my favorite leave-in conditioners ever all time period um don't care what nobody say okay Next, I picked up some things from Lotta Body. This is kind of like, I want to say old, but this was like pretty much going around YouTube for a very long time. It's their Wrap Me Foamy Mousse. I saw a lot of people using this like on their twist outs and wash and goes, and I've been loving foam wash and goes. I think I have a couple of them here on my channel. I'll try and link them in the cards for you to check out after this video. But I picked that up, and then since I'm kind of like a, like a, brand stay on brand when i'm styling and going through my wash day i picked up something else from the line which is their leave-in treatment which as i shake it it doesn't seem a watery um so it's in like a spray tube so it may come out pretty creamy which i'm hoping it does 
Um, so that's why I picked up from the line so that when I'm styling, I have a leave-in in my styler. Um, that's kind of how I... I'm that person. I don't like to mix brands when I'm doing my hair, I'll be honest with you. Maybe once in a while, but it's very rare that you guys see me do that. Next, I picked up a couple things from Aunt Jackie's. Um, I picked up, so I had picked this up first, the Oh So Clean shampoo from Aunt, 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 Aunt Jackie's. Aunt Aunt Jackie's. I say either or, just depending on my mood. Um, and I picked it up just because I wanted to try it. And then I happened to be at Marshall's and they had like the big one like this on clearance for like six bucks. So I picked this one up as well. So I have two of them, even though I haven't even tried this one. But I feel like shampoos for me are kind of like, you know, I just want my hair to be clean. So it don't really, if my hair feel clean, then it's good with me. So I picked it up. And that was that. And then I also picked up another bottle of this. I actually have one. This is a backup. I use this quite often. Um, not often, but you know, it's, it's one of my go-tos um, for my wash days that you guys don't see a lot of. Um, this is the Coco Wash. It's a part of their Coco line from uh, Jackie's. I think I've used this line on my channel before. Like I said, if I have a video of me using any of these like lines, I will have them linked in the cards or and or down in the description box. But this conditioning cleanser, love this stuff. This is like one of my go-tos, like that midweek wash where I need something a little bit stronger than a co-wash. Um, I like this. So and that was at Marshall's too for like six bucks um, for that big jar. And this was a big, this big 16, 16 ounces. That's good. Um, next are, this was, I got this in a curl box probably around the holidays. I got um, these products from Cream of Nature. Um, it was in a curl box. Definitely then I opened it, never used it. Only used one item from the curl box and that's just because I just, I don't know. I be having so many options, I just be stressing myself out. So, um, in this curl box, it came with the hair mask, these um, strengthening hair masks. I've actually used this one before. This one came with two of these, so I actually used one of these before on this particular wash day. I actually liked it a lot. Um, and then this other one is the smoothing, um, Smoothing and fridge control hair mask. I feel like I'm gonna try this one out the next time I plan on doing a like wash and go or something like that. Just to see if it really is fridge control. Cause I feel like, you know, be capping. Anyway, then this, the box also came with the Argan Oil Edge Control, edge, Edges? Perfect Edges, sorry extra firm hold I actually threw the old other one hat I had out it was another cream of nature one but I think this one's different so I actually threw the other one out because it, I've had it for a while and it was probably time honestly so I have this one now then also in that box was the twist and hold defining custard from cream of nature that's part of the pure honey line as well and this is the pure honey curling jelly as well which I'm curious to actually try this out because this this seems thick like this seems thick 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 she thick i can't wait to try that so that is all i got from cream of nature and then lastly slide slide all this stuff over i picked up some new things from african pride so african pride actually picked so when i took my braids out i knew i needed to get my bay which is their pre shampoo this stuff this stuff is bomb this stuff is great for detangling if you do any type of like pre detangling for your hair or when you take your braids out you know like at the root where you be getting like the little the little ball of lint and damn near be locking um this is a bomb for getting that stuff out it makes my detangling pre detangling so much easier so when I took my braids out I actually had one that was open but I was like I know that's not gonna be enough so I went and picked up two more from the Walgreens so I have two of them and then they came out with a curl box that had a new product in it so I ended up buying the curl box so that curl box also had the pre shampoo in it so now I have three of the pre shampoos which I do not mind having this one hand. This one, this is like a must. Not every wash day, but those wash days where I might have like went two weeks in my wash 
you know my wash and go or something like anything where I know my hair is seriously gonna be treacherous to detangle these are my salves so I have three of these um, and because I bought this before I even saw that original that curl box that came out so I have three of those not a big deal like having backups and those are perfect honestly those are perfect so in that same curl box it did have the shampoo um, the conditioner and the curl milk but again some of the stuff I had bought at Walgreens so I have dupes of them not dupes but doubles of them so I picked up the Miracle um, Moisture Miracle shampoo which you know one was in the curl box one I had bought from Walgreens so I have two of them like these a lot so I'm gonna keep it I mean, I was gonna keep it anyway, but you know, I got my backup for when this runs out. Then I also picked up this. This is the honey chocolate and coconut oil conditioner. Again, one I bought at Walgreens, one it was in my curl box. And then the this this is actually the curl milk and detangler. I have two. One was in the curl box, and this one I actually bought a while ago, actually before I even had my braids, and I just never used it. Um, because I did, I do like the con the leave-in conditioner that's in the jar. I love that. Um, but I saw this, and I do like curl milk, so I picked that up to try out. I also have picked up um, the Edge styling wax that they came out with. With I didn't even know they came out with it. Came out with this, um, and there was one in the curl box. So I have two, which is you know I'll take it. I'll take it all. It's fine. Like I said. I've been actually enjoying this um, African Pride line. Um, and lastly, from this curl box, which is the reason I bought the curl box because I did not see this in Walgreens when I was in it. But they have this new thingy the curl defining gel hydrate and hold, shapes, defines, adds, shines, no flaking, no tack, alcohol free. <sighs> I can't wait to use this. I already know I'm not gonna like the smell. I don't like the smell of most of the stuff from this African Pride line, but they stuff, and I don't wanna say I hate the smell, it's just, you know, it's not my go-to smell. But the, 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 I love how it makes my hair feel. So, actually, let me smell it. Mm, I mean, it don't smell bad, it just don't smell good either. You know, it just smell like whatever. It don't smell like nothing. Um, smell like something but nothing worth talking about um so this is the main reason i got the curl box was to get this and i went to try it out so i cannot wait to try this i have a few gels in here as you can see that i need to try out um but that is what i got from unicurl so that is everything that i got over the past i want to say like six months it's probably like six months of haulage um that i have so don't think i bought all of this at once honey no some of it you know like I bought them all in sections and it's over about six months of me buying stuff and knowing that I actually wasn't gonna use them right away because I knew I was getting my hair braided and I wasn't really filming. So hopefully you guys will see some of these stuff in some upcoming videos. Actually, you definitely will. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this haul and yeah, I will see you in the next one. Oh, don't forget to subscribe and turn your notifications on if you do not want to miss an upload. Leave a comment down below if you guys have used any of the products that I've shown you in this video and what your thoughts are on them if you have used them, just so I can, you know, get a little feel for it before I start using them. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, everything that I mentioned in this video, it will be linked down in the description box so you guys can check it out. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next one. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. And yeah, bye guys.